Next question is from Jay Busath. How do I know when I have enough muscle to cut so I don't end up looking skitty, oh, skinny? That's a good question. I don't think it would be so much of a measuring lean body mass as it would be measuring your strength. I think that's more, that's a better metric to measure. I, I like even better metric than that is I like focusing on your metabolism. So instead, I like going, I, when I'm pushing someone to build muscle, like a client, male or female, and it's like, okay, how long are we going to be in this quote unquote bulk or reverse diet before we get to cut down and get shredded or go the other direction? And I normally say, well, let's get it to a place where you're eating so much food that you are you don't want to eat anymore. Yeah. To me, that's a, a, a better gauge is like, let's keep increasing calories and building muscle so long as you feel like you comfortably can keep adding calories to the diet until you get to a place where it's like, man, that's a lot of food. That's hard for me to hit that number. Like, oh, what a great place to be. Now let's go the opposite direction and let's lean out versus some, you know, arbitrary, you know, number of body fat percentage or pounds of muscle on your, yeah, on your body. It seems a little more subjective that way in terms of like, if I, if I have this much muscle mass, now it's time for me to cut versus like, I, yeah, if I can increase my calories and I can get to that place where it feels like work, you know, to be able to scale down is going to be a lot easier. Uh, and you're going to get all the benefit and result of like, you know, losing weight, losing body fat, uh, in a comfortable place where you're eating. Yeah. I just think also to the whole, like, um, you know, I don't want to look skinny. I mean, you probably would be a better way uh, to say that is I don't want to look or feel frail or look or feel weak uh, or lose, I guess, function or mobility, which can happen if you just go too low calories. Um, you know, that's why I said strength as well. I think in combination with what you guys yeah, are saying would be great. Because sure. if like, if you're, if you've like doubled your strength um, in a lot of key lifts uh, and, and you feel solid, you feel strong, like let's say you're a woman and you could squat your body weight or you're a man and you could squat one and a half times your body weight or something like that, right? Um, and then you feel comfortable. Like, okay, I think I can go on a cut and then you can continue monitoring the strength because if I go from being able to squat 200 pounds for 10 reps and then I go on a cut, I should expect some strength to go down. But if it goes from 200 to 100, uh, then I'm probably cutting too much or I'm too aggressive with the calorie cut or I'm, I'm not doing things right, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, if I can relatively maintain my strength, maybe lose a little bit depending on how advanced I am in a cut, I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing fine. That's usually how I would, that's how I used to gauge it for myself at least. You, you also have this ability to say you, you know, you're, you're building muscle, say, for a month or two and you've been on this consistent, you know, reverse diet or bulk, right? Same difference. And you're like, okay, I, I wonder, is this enough muscle to keep on my body that when I lean out, I'm not going to look skinny and I'm still going to have this, then, then start to cut, go yeah. the opposite direction and pay attention. If you start to feel like, oh my God, I don't like how much I'm losing or how, how skinny I now look, you can go back the other direction. I just be careful of getting so focused on how we look. Cause a lot of times your mind plays a lot of games with you. Like one of the things that always kept me from getting stage shredded was my insecurity around being skinny, like this question, and being small. And so I never would allow myself to push that yeah. far. I would start to lean out and go, oh my God, I'm losing all my muscle. Like I don't, I'm looking skinny. And I would say things like that to myself. And then I'd bro, pack back the calories back home because I was so insecure about being skinny. So just be careful of you know, tying your your results or your goals to like this 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 skinny look that you're you potentially are subjective. afraid of. Yeah, it is too subjective, and you're actually not the best person to judge that. A lot of times, a lot of times, it, like if it's if you were driven like I was to get muscular and buff by my insecurity of being skinny, then a lot of times that will play mind games with you. That you know you're low calorie, you're deflated a little bit, so your muscle bellies aren't yeah. filled up, so you think you're getting skinny when in reality, well, it's, no, you just. You have you have low calorie, and then when you're low calorie, the muscle bellies aren't going to be filled out as much, and so it gives you this illusion of you look flat or skinnier, or it looks like you're losing muscle, but in reality, you're not. You're just low low calorie, and your body is actually burning and breaking down body fat. 